See you later, Biff. Bye, Martin. What's Jen up to now? Jennifer! Jen! You got a problem? What's the deal, Jennifer? You left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. Look, I don't know what you got against me in this timeline, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kind of like you like this. Oh, uh, Barf? You act like I'm a turn-off, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because I let you tag along to a couple of concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're a little cute, but you're into all this honor student crap. Honor student. And I'm into more interesting things. And guys. Are you going out with someone else? I bet I can make you forget him. Sorry, Martin, but you just don't rate anymore. So do you spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think about snitching on me. Unless you want this spray can up your... No, no, listen, you got me wrong. I'm looking to, uh, break a few rules myself. You? What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend. Oh, lighten up. Do you know where I could score some forbidden materials? Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Um, kinda, yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. This ban on public displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favorite legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew! Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think. But after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two-demerit offense. Go fig. This law against public kissing is a load of bull, right? Yeah, this town is full of it. What are you gonna do? Protest! That's what. Let's go stage a public kiss-in. Let's not, and say we did. On second thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. Wuss. Hill Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm gonna go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. Leech and the whoosh bags. Never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees? Get yourself a watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah! Must be where Jen keeps her paints. Locked. That junk looks awfully familiar. Fifty years familiar.
That leads to the soup, Mo. Leech is in there. I'd rather he come out here. They've bricked up the entrance to the old speakeasy. I don't want to go digging through the trash unless I absolutely have to. What is it now? So, Jennifer. Uh-huh. What do you think of me? I don't. Seriously, what have you got against me? I'm kind of popular, right? Very popular. Among a certain crowd. What crowd? Dorks. Marty McFly a dork? It's impossible. He can't be a dork. Okay, anyone who talks about himself in the third person is a dork. My mom and dad. What about them? Would you say they're normal? By Hill Valley standards, yeah. In other words, they're warped beyond repair. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. Did you get a load of Biff Tannen back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. What do you know about the Citizen Plus program? Only what I hear on TV, and the radio, and the newspapers, and the PA systems all over town. They want everybody to enroll, and they say it'll make us all happy and well-adjusted. Which is why I'm gonna stay clear of it. Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. No, really. This crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. Are you going out with someone else? I bet I can make you forget him. Sorry, Martin, but you just don't raid anymore. It won't be long before I see Citizen Brown. Hey, can I come with you? You want to see Citizen Brown too? Yeah. Maybe he can give me a heart when he gives you a brain. Couldn't hurt to ask. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah! Look out, son! Mom? Mom? Mom! But are you happy? Happiness is overrated, Lorraine. I'm content. Well, I'll think about it. Mom? Hi there, Martin. I saw you as I was driving in. Did you hear me honking? Mom, I can't be you. Martin, are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. It's just that you're so, so gray. Well, isn't that an uplifting way to greet your mother? Sorry, I just don't... I guess you're right, though. I am going a little gray. No thanks to your father. So, what? Are you out here shopping or something? Oh, shopping? <laughs> Who shops anymore? No, it's that time of the month for me again. Uh... For my civic duty. I'll be polishing the statue all day. Oh, right. What's with the golf cart, Mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. Well, what about my truck? <laughs> no one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah, I just... I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Could you do me a favor? I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Aren't they annoying? But Citizen Brown always says, a scheduled life is a happy life. Anywho, could you be a dear and drop it off at the house? Here, take the car. Actually, I... I know, uh, I know, dear. Love you, too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. 
Don't forget to pick me up this evening. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, it's not the truck, but I guess it'll do. Peeping Tom. Ah, Dad. Try to warn your old man the next time, okay? Hey, Demerit. Hey, what for? Insufficiently polished shoes. Good day, citizen. Um, I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Ah, uh, you know the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. Interesting? What do you mean, interesting? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but... Wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at soup mo counter, Cream of asparagus with crackers. What was that? You know your mother's problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. There she is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? What are you getting at? Jeez, I'm not gonna rat my own mom. Even if she is a... Shh. I don't know for sure that your mother has relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Confidentially, I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out. What do you say? That's a good boy. Okay, Dad, we need to talk. What were you hiding when I came in just now? Hiding? I don't know what you're talking about, son. Come on, I saw it. It was a videotape, right? Um... I might as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Tell me what? Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. You're kidding. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No one's worked harder than they to apply the most advanced social planning techniques to our municipality, but... What? Confidentially? Not everybody appreciates it. A great many citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't say so publicly, of course. But in private? Well, just listen. I tell you, Bert, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over in Fairfax. A toast to Citizen Brown. May his beloved courthouse be struck by lightning. Shh, Agnes, you're awful. Are you coming to the town square, Lester? Citizen Brown's about to give another speech. Citizen Brown can kiss my hairy... Well, you get the idea. Uh, it sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only around 50%, maybe 60. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe you should take your tapes directly to Brown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. Why don't you give me those videotapes? I'll take them to Citizen Brown. Thanks for offering, son, but I don't want to get you involved. 
Citizen Brown won't like what he sees on them, and I wouldn't want you to get the brunt of his displeasure. Not to mention the displeasure of all the folks on the tapes. Once they find out I recorded them... No, I'm not letting these tapes out of my sight. It's too dangerous. Well, I'll leave you to your snooping. Supervising, son. Supervising. I'll leave you to it. Right. Hey, I hear you got hit with some more demerits, Nathan. Good on you, I see. Sure. Never trust a guy with less than a thousand demerits, am I right? Hey, what's my guitar doing out here? Your mother and I convinced you to give it up, remember? Rock and roll music is frowned on by the Brown administration. It sets a poor example for all the kids who look up to you as a model of studiousness and moral gravity. And besides, you're not very good. Come on, Dad. I need that guitar. Give me one good reason why I should give it back to you. Because... A certain girl is only gonna like me if I can play the guitar. A certain girl? You don't mean... Jennifer. Oh, Martin. Why are you fixated on that little hellion? She's nothing but trouble. Yeah. My kind of trouble. And besides, the way you play guitar, you're only gonna drive her further up. Go ahead, son. Do your worst. Thanks, Dad. Another day in Hill Valley. The perfect place to live. That wasn't a note of irony in your voice, was it, citizen? Irony? What's that, officer? Move along. Oops, wrong number. Mom, are you, a uh, drinking again? Don't be silly, dear. Booze is illegal, you know. Yeah, Mom, it's just that Dad mentioned... Your father. Why, I just can't get away from his prying eyes. Always spying, always watching. You, you mind your own business, George. Now, Lorraine, this is for your own good. I know you're keeping a secret from me. It's mine to keep. <laughs> Dad! Mom! Knock it off, you two! Now, you listen here, young man. This is an adult matter between your mother and me. Dad, I know, but your way isn't working. You gotta give her some space here. Huh? Where'd she go? Mom? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! What is that in your hand? Rum? Gin? A wine cooler? For your information, it's brass cleaner! I have a job to do here, you know. Lorraine. No. Lorraine, I'm just trying to look out for you. You know the kind of trouble we can get into if you're drinking again. George, I wouldn't be so on edge if you weren't... Yes!
I just can't get through to Mom with Dad always spying on us. Mom, now that Dad isn't watching. Oh, Martin! Uh, <clears throat> Is that a flask, Mom? Flask? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I, I... Look, it's okay, Mom. Get a hold of yourself. Oh, your father's right. I'm backsliding. But it's been so hard, what with your brother and sister leaving, and then your father getting obsessed with his monitors and... Oh. <laughs> Let me take care of the flask. Dad doesn't have to know anything about it. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetheart. I couldn't bear the thought of facing your father over this. This timeline sucks. Mom and Dad are fighting again. Mom's drinking. It's like everything Doc and I ever did to fix things is falling apart. Time to get some attention. Locked. That's no way to treat such a fine guitar. Now that I have the booze, I just gotta get caught with it. Hands up, citizen. Assume the position. Here goes nothing. There better be apple juice in this. Uh, why don't you open it and find out? Don't get smart with me! Uh, I knew you were no good, McFly. Officer Parker, what seems to be the problem here? Citizen McFly, ma'am. Came strolling up with a 181B violation in his pocket. Ugh. You, young citizen, where did you get that... that... booze? Nowhere? Is he being smart with me? Yeah, he played that attitude on me as well. Could we just fast forward the lecture and just get this over with already? No! Officer, demerit him severely. And as for the alcohol, drop it into the decycling bin. With pleasure, ma'am. Now, keep your nose clean or you'll find yourself in front of Citizen Brown. Okay, okay. 
Welcome to Soup Mo, where soup is just... Oh, it's you. This better be important, McFly. Leech, was that Jennifer? Well, A, it's none of your business, and B, seeing as she ain't your chick no more? Yeah. Okay, now this timeline is really pissing me off. Where are the free samples? Here. I keep them behind the counter. Oh, God. If you puke, you're cleaning it up, wuss. I, I can't finish this. Not my problem. What are those things? Those are the liver and peas with soy cheese hot dogs. Ew. You and me both, brown noser. Why are the samples behind the counter? I can't leave them out, dude. There's a D.O.G. running around town, and he keeps going after the sample tray, knocking them all over the ground. A dog? Wait, these samples haven't been on the ground, have they? Jeez, McFly, relax. They're fresh. Mostly. About this dog, what's he look like? Beats me. He's a smart little S.O.B. He only comes around when my back is turned. Then how do you know it's a dog? You can smell him? Allergies, dimwit. See ya. Smell you later. Even screwed up Nutso so Hill Valley doesn't deserve that smell. Hey! Hey! There's that mangy! Go get him, McFly! He's got to be hiding in here somewhere. You in there, Einie? Or whatever your name is these days? Not a sign of him. Don't even think about it. McFly? My spray can? Oh. <laughs> Dork. Where could he be hiding? I bet you're under here. Not a sign of him. Check this out. What? You swiped your big brother's guitar? Is that supposed to impress me? It's not my brother's. It's mine. Yeah, sure. And you'd play it for me. Only you don't have an amp. Oh, yeah, that's right. Pathetic. 